Good morning, friends. Today we are going to be doing some golden bead multiplication. So what we're going to do is first we're going to do static, which means we won't have to be doing any carrying. We're going to multiply 1,241 times 2. Okay, so here we have the numeral 1,241. This is our multiplicand. And we're going to multiply it. We're going to multiply it or times it, as some of my students like to say, times by two. This is our multiplier, two. All right. So first we need to set up 1,241. These are over here. Scooch them a little bit closer. <clears throat> Alrighty. 1,241. Well, here is 1,000. We need two hundreds. 100, 200. We need 40. That means four tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. And we need one unit. One unit. Okay, let's check. Do we have 1,241? Yes, we do. That's 1,241 once but we need it twice. So here it is again, 1,000, 100, 200, 40, 110, two tens, three tens, four tens, and one unit. So we have 1,241 one time, 1,241 two times. Let's find out what the answer is. One, two. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens. Oh. I almost forgot to get our number cards. I'm going to get our answer cards and lay them here. Answer in units is two. Our answer in tens is 80 because eight tens is 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Let's find out what our answer in hundreds is. 100, 200, 300, 400. Our answer in hundreds is 400. Let's find out what our answer in thousands is. 1,000, 2,000. Here is our answer in thousands, 2,000. Let's come up with our entire answer. Our answer is 2,482. Times two equals 2,482. Let's check. We were right. Boys and girls, did this seem like it was easy? Because it was addition, right? Doing multiplication is the same as doing addition. It's just repeated addition. We're just repeating the same number. So if you can do addition, you can do multiplication.
communication. All right, I'll see you for the next lesson, which will be, oh, dynamic addition. We're going to do dynamic, I'm sorry, dynamic multiplication. So now let's take, let's take our numeral, our multiplier, and I will change that to a three. I almost forgot that we were gonna do dynamic. So now, if we have 1,241 times three, there will be a dynamic step. Okay, let's begin. So we're gonna do the same multiplicand. 1,241 once. 1,241 twice. Uh-oh, but we need it three times. Let's do it again. 1,241 three times. Okay, let's see what the answer is. One, two, three. Our answer in units is three. There it is. Here comes our tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens, ten tens. We have to exchange because ten of these are the same as one of these. So let's put this up here too. And we will count our hundreds now. Oh, wait, what did we get for our tens? I'm sorry, we, I almost forgot a step. Our answer in tens is two tens. Two tens is 20. Now let's count our hundreds. One hundred, two hundreds, three hundreds, four hundreds, five hundreds, Six hundreds, and then here's this extra one that we had to exchange. Seven hundreds. So our answer in hundreds is seven hundreds. What's our answer in thousands? One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Our answer in thousands is three thousand. So this is the fun part at school. The children like to do the magic slide. We read the numeral 3723. And I like to always check and make sure that it's right. Three thousands, seven hundreds, yep, twenty, Two tens is 20. If you put a three on there, that's 23. 3,723. Okay, now I'm going to sign off and I'll see you for the next lesson.